A Time Drinking is a comedy drama film. I knew nothing about this. I know that's it's like a lower budget independent film, but uh, the library had it. It's been sitting on the shelf for so long, and I kind of want to clear the entire library of Korean films. I love Korean cinema that much. So this one is about uh, Hyuk Jin. He is um, a sad sack because his girlfriend dumped him. So his three friends are at him with, at a bar, and he's got a couple dozen drinks. And uh, in order to get him out of a rut, they offer to take him to um, Cheonseong, which is like two and a half hours from Seoul. So uh, you know he agrees to like you know go on a trip with them. They'll have some delicious booze, hot noodles, some barbecue out there. You know they'll. He'll just have a nice vacation out there, you know, a small weekend getaway. However, uh, he wakes up on the bus, and uh, he's somewhere else. He's already there, and his friends are not because they drank too much. They got hung over, so they're actually sleeping while he's already there. And now he feels kind of abandoned, so he's told to go to a guest house. And uh, the hijinks sort of happen as uh, Hyuk Jin uh, goes to the wrong house, and he starts meeting people, and uh, starts slowly getting screwed over as he tries to make his way back to Seoul. And uh, he meets a sort of weird collection of different people. There's like three or four people he bumps into that are uh, very strange. The, the humor goes for a more subtle, sort of uncomfortable, awkward sort of humor in the vein of like The Office. It's not like, you know, oh man, you know, I have to like gamble to go home. It's more like a, you know, you go up to someone and uh, you're just trying to like wait for the bus and they start asking you stuff and getting in your face and you're trying to like, you know, be polite, but you don't want to, like, tell them to fuck off. So, basically, um, daytime drinking is a, it's a little slow. It's a full-on two hours long. Uh, pacing's a little bit awkward here and there, but the movie is funny in parts. And it has a really great ending, too. The, the we culminate to the finale in which he finally goes to the correct guest house with his friend, and they have some barbecue. Some sort of things go to light involving his girlfriend that, uh, he doesn't like and uh, it's a really nice interesting almost sort of reflective road trip movie as well as a comedy and the comedy is very subtle it's not like trying too hard uh, overall it's a very enjoyable film uh, definitely a weird sort of like art house offbeat indie sort of hit so if you're in the mood for something a little bit lighter then uh, daytime drinking is a pretty good choice so i give it a six out of ten